Hey, oh. I figured it out. Uh, Bonnie, I don't know if you'd noticed, but everyone out here is busy taking care of the things we normally take care of, so whatever it is you need to announce, make it fast. Also, why do you look different? What's wrong with your fun appearance? Okay, so first of all, I just want to remind you all that for the past while I've been busy working with and fixing some of my inventions. Not only have I managed to successfully fix the Growthinator, but I was also able to create a device to which pulls out and destroys paper particles from people who have been paperized, and one to which can purify and throw a shield over those who may have any sort of corruption or negative energy attached on them to help them keep protected, safe, and removed from all this stuff to which may viruslessly infect them. Not only have I used a purifier myself to which caused my appearance to change and the melanin in my fur to go out of whack, and is also the reason I look so different, but I also decided to combine all of those inventions together onto the Growthinator. And after all that was done, I went and tested it out on the people of the Fazbear House, and considering the fact that it hadn't malfunctioned how it normally does after using it on a few people, I even went and pulled out corruptions from Egg Baby while you guys weren't looking, and I purified and solidated them from the corruption to which turned them into nothing but pure goodness. Wait, what? H how did you manage to pull that off? We could use that kind of technology, not for almost everyone out here considering we need it, but, you know, everyone else. Yeah, right. I know. That's why I'm out here. I'm not sure how I even managed to pull this off, but to prove it to you that it worked, come on out, y'all. Show yourself. <clears throat> well, yourselves to be exact, not yourself, because it's more than one person. But, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> oh. My. Goodness. Whoa! Whoa is absolutely right. Bonnie, I might be an almighty being, but the way you do things sometimes can be very complex in vision. You need to start writing the process of how you do these things, because what the fuck, mate? You know what, it's hard for me to believe too as well, but to be fair, Bonnie is a miracle worker. The more stuff that he's gone on to invent over time that he continues to invent, the more things it is we can accomplish and fix. I mean, shoot, as a paperized creature, I wasn't able to do shit. Not to mention, now that the corruptions here aren't corruptions anymore, they can bring their strength in and we can work together as one. Eh, what liberty Jake has said. At least now that we're all solid, we don't have to work so hard anymore to get the task done. I know we all came off on the wrong foot for the times we've all met for the first time, but honestly, I hope whatever it is you all have planned that we can help out with it rather than fighting like how we originally set out to do. I'm gonna have to agree with you, Sham, but uh, about that thing with the Jinx girl and the Shimmer substance, I'm sorry you had to go through that process of purifying the blood water palantras. It won't happen again. I'm, I'm just happy that... My high score to this life will be broken and fulfilled for once. But seriously, sorry about that. Eh, whatever. Uh, ignoring the high score part, same here with the whole situation from when I popped in with the group I did, to which you all found out about the hive mind and I sent the message out to the next waves who were to come in. I can really care less about it anymore because now that I'm here and alive, I have my missing arm back. And well, to thank you all for it, I pled my working service to you and no longer am Malik Remor after the Miranda. Uh, right, well, I might not look all that familiar to any of you, but when I first showed up here, I was purple and I had a VR headset stuck to my face. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that I said if I was able to live wire myself that I was going to go on attack. Now that I'm free to purify from all that form that I took, I think I'll punch in my gratitude for it rather than fighting you guys, you know? Right, well... We don't really need you guys for anything, all of you in fact, but if you haven't already done so by now, go find yourself a room to stay, or if you already have a room, go to it. <laughs> you heard him! Go on, everyone! Oh, yeah, right, sorry. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Huh? Where do, uh, just go die in Latte. You find the room from the adder. Oh, right, thanks, Shamrock. All right. Okay, well, Bonnie, since you came out here to remind us of that invention thing, do me a favor and go grab your megaphone to remind everyone of the Fed House that if they have any requests to pull people from the reservation list to here, let them know to pop on out. After that, I'm going to need you to 
Combine the power of your machine with the power of Egg Baby as he's pulling people in. Okay? Okay, Bonnie? Mm, Alright, I'll be right back then. Yep. Yep. Alright, here they come. Oh, lovely. Now that you're all out here, without saying anything to barbaric, who do y'all want to be pulled in from the reservation list to move in here? My older brother Blake and his friend Connor, <coughs> a black Labrador, and also my little sister Helena. Just an FYI, she's been through experiments that have caused her to become a wolf slash husky alicorn creature, so yeah. My sister, Timmy the white kitty cane mouth, asked him what Prince had said. About his sister, Timmy has also been through experiments, so no judge. My cousin Pepper, she's pretty big for a fox, by the way, so as from what he said, don't judge. She's been through some growth spurts over the years, and, you know, maybe a little too much, to be exact. Okay, so I know they're always moving back and forth here to pick me and back, but, uh, pull in Springtrap and Nightmare Mangle so they can finally settle down. Mm hmm, well, for Candy and I. Bring in our pal, Blake the Badger. Yeah, and while you're at it, please do us both a favor. First off, me, change my appearance to a dark blue and a bright white cat with rosy cheeks. Oh, and I want to look formal too as well, so give me a red tie and be sure to make Pop go solid in form if you can. Alright, head here, Charlie. Do your thing. Okay, well, I volunteer for this one. Egg baby, pull on the people that these guys just said to. Not only that... Do what Mike just said for you to do there, Bonnie. I'm on it, Henry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In your... Thank you. Ugh. 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 Connor, I think I just hit my head. Oh, I don't know, Blake. Mm hmm. Huh. Well, that's from what I'm seeing. I think we've teleported to the Phasma house to finally join up with the Spirit Rebellion. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Phasma house? What the? Connor? Blake? Me? Here now? Yep. And if it wasn't for me, you guys wouldn't be here so soon. Sooner than what you've needed to be, at least. Uh, Prince? Oh, shoot! Hey, bro! It's been so long since I've seen your blue freaking head. I didn't think you'd be here already. At least before me. Huh, now that I say that, has the pack been reunited back up? Is everyone where they should be all together? Nope. But it's just enough to generate the right amount of power to help with this upcoming prophecy we have to deal with. Why don't you just follow me? There's a lot I need to explain to you, so... Come on. Um, okay then, whatever you say, bro. Come on, cons. Helen, we'd better hurry on before we fall too far back on Prince, so let's go. Yep. Ooh. We're gonna be reunited with the pack! Oh, it's gonna be great seeing the family. Just us wolf huskies and husky wolves together at once. All over again! <laughs> mm. I'm not really a part of the half-wolf, half-horsey pack sort of thing, but since I have nothing better to do, I'll follow up with Blake. I mean, he's my best friend after all, and I'm sure that Prince, his brother, knows this place better than anyone else, so I might as well follow up anyways. Hey, oh. Ooh, what the hell, man? That hurt. Uh, Candy, not only am I still paperized, but... You've become paperized into the change of appearance that you've wanted. And also, your ears look like they're half missing. What the? Oh, damn it, Bonnie! Hurry up and fix us! Fix us before Blake gets off the ground! Huh? Oh, sorry, you two. Let me just. <sighs> Flesh and bones, just the way I like it. <sighs> Thank you. Hmm? Up goes Candy. How the hell did? Never mind. Where am I? Fazbear House. 
but you already know that by looking at us and where we're sitting. It's great seeing you, buddy. <laughs> okay, but what was that whole thing about another Blake being in the room? Oh, that's, th that was just someone different. A wolf slash husky guy. Don't worry about him. He is not our concern. Now, what do you say we go find your room so you can finally have somewhere to stay? Oh, well, as long as if I don't have to go back to living in a dirt hole, then I say it's a great idea. Oh, don't worry about it, man. You're here for good. But anyways, we should move along now. Come on, let's go find your room now. Hey, yep. You heard the weasel. You're going on indoor adventure, Blake. Hey, yep. Uh, okay, cool. But wait, what about Cindy, Chester, Pangy, Blank, Rat, Cat, Stone, Sour, and Saffron, Squirrel, and Vinny? Will they ever come to live here? I, I have so many questions. Wait up, you two. Ugh. Okay. I don't know whose idea it was to pull both Springy and I in here, but you're lucky I made Boonie Derp take over my job of watching over the citizens of Pikmi. Uh, yeah. And honestly, I was just hoping to stay there for a while. I get that we both pop in back and forth, but I'd rather be able to travel around without having this sign home to live. Uh, sorry you two, but you've been on the reservation list for a while. Apparently someone around here is getting tired of rewriting your own list. So it's better if you move in now than later on. Besides, the prophe prophecy of Sierra is almost at hand. Wait, so you're telling us that we really have to come back now? Yep. <sighs> Well, then I suppose we shouldn't waste time if the she of or the time of she is almost here. Come on, hon, we better find another room. The old one that you had was probably taken over by now, so, yeah. Fun. Ugh, whatever. But you owe me big time, Mannard. You didn't have to be the one to pull us in. I didn't even do anything wrong, but whatever you say, Springy Boy. Uh... Shimmy? Shimmy? You're finally at the Sanctuary of Solitude. You have somewhere you could finally decorate your own room. Wakey wakey! <laughs> Bruh, wake up! <laughs> Solitude, Sanctuary, Fazbear House. What? Oh, hey, Squeakers. I just had the weirdest dream that we both finally reunited with each other and that I moved in with you at Freddy's. Yeah, um... That wasn't a dream. And if it was, we wouldn't be standing here consciously in the same room. Also, can you call me Big Squeaks? I'm trying to live up to the name from when we were experimented on and giving some height. <sighs> well, I mean, sure, but if I have to stop calling you Squeakers, you have to stop calling me Shimmy. It's chimney. Like the fireplace thing. You know, that thing that Santa Claus enters through on Christmas Eve? I mean, look at me. I literally have Advent written all over me. Can I go back to sleep now? <sighs> Shimmy suits you better, but whatever. If you call me Squeaker the once, I'm going to stick to calling you Shimmy rather than Chimney. And don't worry your sorry little head. You can go back to sleep when you find yourself a room, into which I'm going to help you find. Come on, sissy. Let's go. <sighs> Whatever you say. Big squeaks. <sighs> hey, yep. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> well, I'll be damned. Out of all the places I'd expect to be randomly teleported to, it wouldn't have been here. Hi, Pepper. Ricky, I... Now, how did I know that you had some sort of involvement with this? Oh, please... Don't act like I'm not your favorite cousin, just face it. You were going to be brought here either way anyways, and if it wasn't by me, it probably would have been Furball who did it. Or at least regretted to have you in. Mm. <sighs> Fine, you caught me. You are my favorite cousin, Frederick. It's just that Furball thinks she's better than everyone else. You don't. And not only that, she got pregnant by a damn purple rabbit at one point. Aren't you at least slightly disappointed? She could have at least chosen someone who wasn't a rodent. Like, ugh. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but that rodent you're talking about is standing right here. My name is Bonnie. And, for the record, us rodents get along with foxes very well. What's wrong with rodents? Hmm. I didn't mean to come off as rude, but for years, all my family and I had dealt with was rodents trying to overtake us. I get that it was just so long ago, but 
I'm so upset over the fact that Furball ditched us family. Well, the family. Just to go live with her half-brother Foxy and to be going on to having kid, a kid, and be lovers with a rabbit. People like you are menaces to us. Well, unlike whatever rodents you're talking about, it's different here at the Fazbear House. It's a welcoming, judgment-free zone. There's no prejudice bullshit you have to deal with. Yeah, there's still times we make fun of each other, but it's all in good fun. Ain't nothing wrong here. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that, but don't be mad at Furball for coming here. I came here for the same reason. Where we came from, there's too many people that'll throw rocks at you and harass you just for walking on the street. I mean, yeah, Buckley was my only friend, but none of you wanted to move away from all that. Especially that place. So uh, I just went with him and decided to meet up to the Fazbear house. I mean, at least now that you're here, you won't be so alone. And nobody's going to throw rocks at you or attack you. It's different here. Mm, well, I mean, I guess. But quick question. You're in a relationship, right? Uh, yeah, why? Okay, well, uh, it's not with the rodent, right? Oh, heavens no. He's a wolf slash husky. Baltic is his name. Oh, okay. That's cool, but wait. Uh, a he? You're, you're homosexual? Uh, yeah, I am. So what? Is there a problem with that? No, 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 absolutely not. I, I just didn't know this until now. You never told me. So that's why I asked like that. Yeah, well, you know now. But never mind that. It's not that important right now. What is important is getting you settled in and finding you a room. I mean, maybe if you get lucky, you can get into a relationship with someone just like I have. So, come on, let's go find your room. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. I'll stick to being single. Nobody wants to date an oversized fox. Besides, relationships, they're too much work. Yep. Hmm, you know what, Bonnie? With all this talking going on and pulling people in, you should go solidate my sibling Chris and their friends. But first, do me a favor and bring in a few people that are left in the Undertale. Seam and Jevil. Oh, that reminds me I'll let you say that, Frisk. Bonnie, can you bring in my brother Coil to Clown, please? Uh, calm down there, Ennard, but yeah. I can do you both a favor, just give me a second. Henry? Huh? Oh, right. Egg baby, you heard Frisk and Ennard. <laughs> Pull those people in. Okay. Alrighty then. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Low battery. Please recharge. Aw oh, man, shit. What the heck? Why are they vaporized? Yeah, well, about that. You'd be surprised to hear this, but my machine didn't break down. Rather, it died. But... I forgot to mention that it works off of charging like a cell phone. So, with that said, I will be right back in a little bit. Just give me a few so I can power charge this thing. But, uh, considering that it's going to take some time, just send these guys off to go find a room. I'll try to paperize, unpaperize, <clears throat> and purify as many people as I can for when I get the chance to. Uh, yep. Oh, great. It works like a cell phone with its power. How convenient. Ew, Ennard! Why am I here with you at the Fazbear house? If you think bringing me here will convince you to help with your plan that you made a long time ago of killing people off, then you're wrong! Whoa, ch chill out there, Coils. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. Whatever evil plan that I had at one point, I put it behind me. I'm one of the good guys now. You're here to finally join the Rebellion, and so we could fix our broken brotherly blonde. The correct way to pronounce that is Bond. Blonde is a hair color. But, uh, I, that's great news, I guess. Mm, Molly, you say that. Does that mean I could move on and live elsewhere rather than where I was living originally? Yep. And that elsewhere is here. Look, I don't really have the time and patience to explain, but a lot of things are going on, which means we have to go find your room to stay. Come on now, we gotta go. Uh, okay, then. Just don't let my springy arms get in the way. They have a mind of their own sometimes. A lot of recoil, to be exact. <laughs> mm. Yep. Mm, Jevil, I think we've been pulled out from the safety of our bunker. Um, duh. Of course we have. 
I mean, look at where we are. It's much safer here, and if we're here, Ralph, say Chris, and the others are here too as well. Come on, Seam. Let's go find them. This way. They'll know what's up and why we're here. Come on. Come on. Shuffle, wait. I... And he's gone. Great. And don't worry about him. I'm sure he'll just figure out his way around soon enough. Uh, I wouldn't say soon enough, but sure. Wait, Frisk. How long have you been here? Fast my house. Well, gee, Seam. A hello would have been nice, but... I would say that I've been here a little too long. But forget about me. Although, whatever Jevil was blabbing on about, he was right. The others are here. Although, the only person that has been pulled in here yet was Lancer. I don't know what you've been up to or where you've been hiding off to, but as to what was said before, you're safe now. Yes, safe indeed, Seam. Which means, whatever sort of business slash work you've been taking care of, you can get back to it. Go meet up with your little friend, Jevil, or whatever he is to you, and go find yourself a room, okay? Mm, all right. I just hope Jevil hasn't gotten too lost and can stop being so fidgety and jumpy. Little man has too much energy. Uh, yep. Well, for as much people that have been moving in and living here, yeah, you'd think this place would fall apart by now and collapse. Props to you all for being able to keep it from falling apart. You'd be surprised to know how big this place is, but thank you for your kind words, it would. <laughs> hmm. Am I the only one smelling oak tree bark? Uh, apparently not, Liz. Hmm? King Zyre, what's going on? Why the sudden appearance? Edward, it's urgent. There's Camelos flooding everywhere in Athirsta. The time of the Shearer is getting closer and closer, and they're all trying to fight the Valocast to bring them to the dark. I need your help to defeat and to purify them of their toxic nature. We have to go now! Oh dear, I knew I should have left sooner. I'm sorry, Fazbear's, but I have to go. I <coughs> swept thinking that, Edward. But why are all at it? Pull a door out here. The time is closer than you know for the prophecy. Here! Oh dear. Catra, go get Adora. Not a chance, Michael. I already made sure that that won't be a problem. Here's Adora, right now. Oh, also, I managed to absorb the Butcher Gang and let Boris know of Alice's fate. Uh, ugh, heck yeah, she did. I can't believe she didn't ever tell me herself of what needed to happen. All those plans of getting married down the drain. But if I'm going to have to stay alive until the time of Shira, then I at least want to join up with the Ink slash Toy Trio to help tackle corruptions. <sighs> Why must we sit back in silence and let them do this kind of stuff, William? We have to trick that purple rabbit into using a machine on us so we can be solid again. We can try. But I doubt we'll be able to trick him so easily there, Miranda. Oh no. Neither of you are going to be pulling a fast one. Adora, can you help me out with these two? They've gone all this time without talking. And now they're being annoying. Catra? Just settle down. Pay them no mind. They are weak. Regardless of what sort of plans they come up with, there's nothing they could do. Fine. But if you won't shut them up, I'm just going to claw their eyes out. <coughs> Catra? No. Save it. We can't be causing trouble. Besides, they have worse coming to them. Just give it some time. <sighs> Whatever. But if one of them speaks again, a lot of scratching will be involved. And don't even bother trying to stop me. I have a lot of anger that I need to let go of, and it's not over personal problems. People just annoy the shit out of me sometimes. Ugh. What was that? Ugh, corruptions. And a lot of them, too. Them vibrations were heavy, so everyone, brace yourselves. Ugh. Yeah. Um, there's no need for bracing yourselves. Apologies for the vibrations. We brought in more corruptions, and considering how big the group is, they were hard. A bit hard, actually, to carry. Although we still managed to pull through, though. <laughs> Whoa. You weren't kidding when you said there's a lot. 
No kidding, Frisk. But are you surprised? We have William Afton, Mother Miranda, Lady D, Heisenberg, Miss Viento, and Moreau out here. The magnetism is skyrocket. Yeah, but look at on the bright side. More corruptions equal less problems to deal with as we make our way to the end. Also, for anyone uh, wondering, <coughs> Frisk. Huggy and Kissy were finally able to break off their relationship and have decided to keep it as friends. With that said, we've finally been able to get together! Oh, cool. At least you stopped both dancing around each other. Congratulations, you two! Congrats nothing! I came here on this journey to rip the beating hearts out from all your stupid chests, and now I can't even do that because of the stupid, pathetic hand thing and all those other two things that it ruined my fun. Oh, my queen. We should have listened to my daughter. We never should have split into our own group. We're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Well, shut up, you stupid, dumb, retarded marcher. All of this was your fault. It was your idea from the start to split into this group. Oh, if we just had stormed in together all at once with Margot and Agatha by our side, we'd be perfectly fine. Quit your complaining. There's nothing we could do now. You know, for a demon called Smile Dog, you don't seem too very smiley and happy, but please. You guys knew this was going to happen the second we all split up. Don't play dumb. Well, for one thought, I actually had no idea about any of this. I was just following behind you, monster across the three. <laughs> Damn you, Fazbear. If Afton was here and found out about this, we'd be screwed. Uh, oh, <clears throat> hey, sir. Relax, Wolfman. This was the plan all along. Pop in, take damage off the feathers, get absorbed. The end comes around and Afton gets his power back. Cartoon Cat, you fool. We know what the plan was. It just didn't go out as to how it should have. These guys got to us before we could get to them, which means they have all their strength still intact. They've already won. No, you're wrong. We can still win this. I didn't become a cat with a friendly human face for nothing. Someone send out a message so everyone else can group up back as they make their way here. The rest of them is our only hope now. I'll do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hooray, the message is sent. Call me a delusional slash dangerous creature because of all the times I'm almost killed my loved ones, but everyone grouping back up isn't going to change the outcome of what's to come. Shut up, you dastardly woman. You don't know any of that. Just because we failed to reach you without any eruptions doesn't mean Mortimer and the others don't have a plan. I agree, Mr. Nag. Don't say anything like that, especially those such things like that daisy. We can still win. Besides, Neocortex is going to be helping out too. Man, can't you grip, Pinstripe. Even with us working for Cortex, he couldn't even take on those three bandicoots. What makes you think he's got the brain to come up with a brilliant plan to destroy all these creatures? <laughs> To be fair, Double Pop Poop Man, I don't think anyone can come up with a plan smart enough to take these faster on. They've taken out my brother, the Boogeyman, and the fact that they usually was able to come up with the thing to destroy him, or whatever the hell it is they need, just means we're screwed. Boo! Okay, I might be eyeless and blind, but I can still hear very well. What's going on, and why is everyone being so loud? Don't even bother worrying about it. Jack, we have lost the fight. Aw, everyone seems upset. How about I give you all a big hug? No, nobody needs a hug from the likes of you. It won't help anything. Actually, hugging helps a lot. <clears throat> hugging. In fact, everything, I should say. Hugging helps everything. Oh, nobody asked you, you ugly blue fat face, flat face Barney ripoff. Okay, that's enough. I know that these guys captured us, but you need to be much nicer, Bully. You need to learn how to, actually. Stop being so mean. There's no point, you sock freak. We're screwed and I blame all of you. Not to worry, class. Regardless of how long it takes, Baldi will make his return and these Fazbears will be destroyed along with his old student, Foxy the Pirate. Even for an old man, 
He never forgets the times when someone gets a math problem or assignment wrong, just as I never forget to monitor people that may be running in the school halls. I'm sure something will be figured out, principal of the thing. You all just need to stop jumping conclusions of what's going to happen or what might happen. Oh, if we get lucky, all these guys will get stabbed by tree bronzes. And if they do, I better be given credit for the idea. For I am the Woodland Toy Freddy, king of the Swamp Woodland family, who are also dead. Now you get what I'm saying. You are really stupid, you cute Freddy thing. Nobody else around here, not one in this army, has tree powers, nor are they a tree to shut up. At least the, the, they don't, don't, don't have a, made, made, out of b- b- bug bugs and a potato sack. Ugh, I hate how I stutter when I try to speak calmly. I ought to have all your heads chopped from all your shoulders straight off. If I wasn't disarmed of my weapons, Ugh, stupid Fazbear's always ruining everything. <laughs> Looks like you're going a bit sick and crazy there, Toby. <laughs> Oh, shut up, you foul kangaroo. That's why you're in a straitjacket. Now, I might be just an egg, but I've come and gone in many different forms in this damn house, from traveling to here and getting absorbed. I'm at my final form, and I'm getting sick of it. Free us now. Ugh, you are all getting on my nerves. Every time any corruptions get pulled in, they're always so talkative. All this negative energy is giving me a headache. Egg baby, absorb. Okay, Charlotte. My goodness, any more of that and I would have started levitating back to a Thursta. Exactly, Palantris. <sighs> At least with their creators being here, those dumbasses can shut up, but any time these guys pop in, it's always the same thing over and over again. Uh, not to ruin your moment of relief, but... You forgot about the Cheshire Cat thing. You know, for as loud as I've been purring, I'm surprised that none of you noticed me vaporize. Go ahead and hit me with your worst. Oh, damn, you sneaky-ass cat. Get off of me. Mm, my pleasure. <sighs> okay, I might be half human and half cat, but, but I know normal cats can't go invisible by vaporizing. I don't think that Cheshire thing is just a cat. <sighs> Correct, you are hybrid girl. But you know what? What would you know? You might have the eyes, ears, teeth, fur, tail, claws, speed, and instincts, but you yourself aren't normal either. (laughs) Hmm, perhaps I was wrong about the speed part. Careful with those claws, it could poke an eye out. (laughs) Oh, great. More distractions, huh? Mmm, yes, because while you're all distracted, more corruptions are inching their way here. Mind you, if it was my choice, I wouldn't be here. But on the contrary, I have no home to go to anymore. And it's better than having someone dangerous to keep you busy. Better me than anyone else. (sighs) Oh, this thing's fast. On three, Charlie. Have Egg Baby absorb him. His movements are very swift, so you better make it fast. Keeping secrets? <sighs> now are we, Shiwa girl? What? No, no secrets here. Just talking about serving you tea, that's all. Oh, but tea time isn't until four. You should really wait for Alice and Mad Hatter. Is that really what you've been talking about? One. Yes, that's exactly what I've been talking about. Two. Now, if you don't get away from me, I'm gonna knock you dead. Three! Egg baby, absorb! What? No, you tricked me. You weren't ever planning to serve tea. Ah! Nope. No tea, but goodness gracious, I'm glad Mr. Midnight doesn't act like that. <laughs> Be glad no cat around here acts like that. But what were you saying beforehand, Boris? Huh? Oh, sorry about that. I got distracted by the freaky creatures. I was wondering if I could join up with Toy Slash Inky Trio to be a, a, you know, help to bring in corruptions. Maybe make it a quad. I'm bored and I want something to do. Hmm. I mean, I suppose it's up to them. What's it to you, three? Care for a fourth member? 
Um, I don't really mind. I mean, we could use all the help we get. Anybody offering help can be nice. It'd be amazing, actually, but what do you think, Huggy? Uh, I don't really care that much either, to be honest. I mean, I suppose you are Bendy's friend, Boris, so we'll leave it up to him. Are you two kidding me right now? Of course you can join, Boris. I mean, it's not like it's going to affect our performance in a bad way. If anything, it'd be a good thing considering you can spot things a mile away. We have our own skills and you have yours, and it's that. Okay, cool. It gives me something to do, so I'm not really complaining. Although, my stomach is starting to feel weird. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Finally, freedom! Where's Audrey? If my calculations are correct and I've popped in and out from the ink dimension to the real world to meet the butcher gang, I sh she should be here. Oh, jeez. More ink creatures use the passageway to bring in more creatures from the ink dimension? Oh, that must be painful on both of you there, Boris and Bendy. But I'm right behind you, Carly. Yes, it's very painful. But I'll be fine, though. I'm sure Boris will be fine, too. After all, Prototype has a compartment holding onto some cans of bacon soup now, so I'm sure we can restore energy quicker than possible. Oh, great to hear about the bacon soup, but ugh, why does this crap have to hurt? Ugh, holy shit! More ink monsters? Don't worry about me, Boris. I'm on your side. The only problem is that I've been chased down and out from the pit of the ink dimension by Sammy Big Steve and that crawling king spider thing. Yeah, I can see that. Audrey... What do we do? That's up to Mike as to what you guys are going to do. Or what it is for you to do. Carly, come to me. We're going to take these guys down. Great thinking, Audrey. Ugh. Oh, gross. More ink. But toy slash inky quad, move along and go continue monitoring for corruptions. Go, go, go. Well, you heard the guy. Let's roll out. Okay. Come on, Bendy. Boris. Let's go. I'm on it, boo thing. Boo thing? Man, you guys come up with the weirdest nicknames. And here I thought Babe was weird. Nope, it's normal. Alright, I'm coming. <laughs> My prayers have been answered. My lord hasn't failed me for once. All hail the ink demon. <laughs> Not so fast, you three. Carly, do that thing you used to prank me with whenever you wanted to hang out. Go, ghost and put these freaks into a daze. Okay. Okay, your turn, Aj. Banish them. Okay, great teamwork, ghost girl. Yeah, right. Well, now that I'm here, where's the butcher gang? I know I was rejected from being allowed to join their group, but I want to try to find ways to convince them to let me join this time. I have my reasons. Many reasons. Oh, goodness. Um, Carly, I don't know how to break this to you, but... Ooh, this is going to be a tough one for right after here. Huh? What? What does that little person mean by that, Audrey? <sighs> I really don't know how to make this any less hard on you, but remember the job I was given to banish away and to absorb up all the living creatures living within the ink dimension so that when the time comes, the ink dimension can be destroyed and we can all be set free from it and finally pass on to the afterlife. <clears throat> pass. Uh, yeah, I do. What does this have to do with... <gasps> you... You absorbed them up already? And, of course, you remember. Yes, Carly, I did. Which means now that you're here, I have to do the same thing to you two as well. Are, are you ready to be set free? Well, I mean, since they're already gone, there wouldn't be any sense of having me here. So, you know what? I am ready to be set free. Audrey, this would probably be something I'd fight you on, but there's no point. Go on ahead and absorb me up. Absorb this inky abomination to which I've taken form of. Do it. All right, then. It was great seeing you again, Carly. I'm sorry we couldn't have hung out longer, but I have things to take care of. I'll be able to see you soon, though. Okay. Goodbye, Audrey. 
I'll miss you. Also, there's other people in the Ink Dimension that you need to banish if you want to finish off with absorbing everyone. Those of Betty, Porter, Shippehoy, Dudley, and the Gent Keeper. Okay, that's all. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I'm sure they'll pop out soon anyways, but I'll miss you too, Carly. See you on the flip. <laughs> Adora, look! I see, Katra. Evan is fully ongoing transformation. <gasps> Everyone, look! Whoa, holy shit, it's almost complete. Okay, I've seen someone transform before, but this just looks cool. <sighs> I better get my daughters. <gasps> Whoa, Mother. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. We've seen you transform into a dragon before, but this is just completely different, Mother. Exactly. Also, the thing about Miranda being here, may we devour her, Mother? Don't you even dare to come near me, Cassandra, nor you, Bella and Daniela. At this point, just go for it, you three. Oh, and have at it with William Afton, too, as well. Weaken them down more than they already are. Yes! Mess them up! Quiet, Angie. Go back to sleep. Just get it away, you three. No one's stopping you. Well, Mother? They'll probably taste a little stale, but yes, you're free to devour them as you please. Just don't kill them. They're needed alive for the sake of everyone. <laughs> oh, damn. Anyways, Michael. As soon as he finishes the transformation, we must commence to the prophecy of Shira. Yeah, exactly. But instead of giving off information through an informational speech, informative thing, I'm going to ask you a few questions that you have to answer so that I can send out telepathically to all the Fazbear's. And you know, just everyone in general, telepathic waves for everyone, you know, get the whole hang of this. And you know, rather than you having to send out an auditory telepathic speech, okay? Uh, right. Um, ask away, mate. Okay, what is the hu uh, the Mutamycete slash hive mind? It's a biohazardous compound that originates in the depths below Meromania, and it's filled with nothing but remnant and diseases that constantly change down to an atomic level. It was used by William Afton and Mother Miranda to infect and mutate living creatures, but also to give them a superpower. <clears throat> Experimentation. Okay, what's K2? It's a brain worm. Pretty much a parasite that had been created from multiple experiments with the Mutamycete to create something that allows to give such mold and life to brainless mutations and to grant William Afton and Mother Miranda power and control over anything that had this substance inside of them. Who were their subjects and experiments? The people that had gone through changes such as being mutated, created into a hybrid creature, disorientated it and distorted it physically and mentally, and experimented on slash tortured for scientific purposes. What is Remnant, Agony, and Fazgoo? Remnant is the remains of people's souls from the past along with people of recent generations. It's the incarnation and source of all things and it gives people power. Agony is the negative emotions created from chemical reactions within the body from every any living creature. And with Fazgu, it's a combination of both remnant and agony from the bodies of people from the Fazgu family, which give life from either good and evil. It's a type of either pink or yellow or green plasma slash goop. For example, it looks like this. Where did you get that? No time to explain. Next question. Okay. How many experiment facilities did Afton own slash take over? About four. Afton Robotics and Tech and Engineering... Umbrella Corporation, Joey Drew Studios, and Playtime Corporation. Okay, describe those different places. Afton Robotics. It was a place he used to create and invent different machines, which made his life easier for when it came to getting certain things done and roles he took on. Umbrella Corporation. It was a giant laboratory full of different biohazardous substances and diseases plus viruses in which William had stolen so he could have an easier time to experimenting on people by injecting different things into their bodies, creating bioweapons out of them, and spreading all sorts of illnesses all around the world. Joey Drew Studios. It was a cartoon making studio that William worked along with to help bring cartoons to life and to also create monstrous abominations through an invention both him and Joey helped to upgrade as time passed called the Ink Machine. It was a way 
another way of experimentation to help expand the control he had over people. Then, Playtime Corps. It was a laboratory that was disguised as a toy factory used to illegally experiment on people and creatures to create and turn them into realistic manufactured toys that had been sold out to children to which had been used to lure and encapsulate them and to sometimes go for gatherings of remnant to bring in more people as experiments to work on through Umbrella Corps or Playtime Co. Alright, what are illusion discs? The little devices often created that overstimulate the brain and five senses used to lure out and to change the perceptions of how people see certain things. It creates illusions toward the subconscious as to how it wants to see certain things slash how certain objects and situations are. And depending on what type of environment slash temperature it's in, it'll change the way slash shape of certain objects and things and blah 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 that'll appear to the eyes in relation to the type of person slash creature and entity it surrounds. What is the ink dimension? It's a dimension, an infinite large reality with an endless cycle of paradoxes within different cartoon creatures slash abominations living there, to which shares an intertwining bond between the weird world that was created within George Studios' ink machine made purely of remnant and ink. Okay, who is Old Man Consequences? He's a small, red shape shifting spiritual being whose job it is to help reside with all balance within the world. Someone who also helped bring in different elements together into one as for when the universe was created to help give it life. He's a creature made up of light, to which keeps all living beings separated from each other by keeping them to live in the different realms slash realities and dimensions that they belong to, and only allowing different creatures slash entities to pass through or enter one place to another for when it is necessary. Alright, what is the Council of Spiritual Owls? It's a big group full of spiritual creatures that take shape of whimsical birds created from the knowledge and inner knowing of everything to ever go on within the world. They are either summoned by people to help take an action to which they may be ordered to depending on what job they've been given as from what lays in their name, or they help guide people on the right path or give slash spread out information, or at least some form of it on the guidance to which leads every being on the path they've chosen to move ahead throughout their journey of life. Not only that, the council as a whole lays about 20 owls in all. Okay, explain the situation for the Keeper of the Key. The Keeper of the Key is when an unknowingly powerful mortal has been chosen by the Almighties, to which they'd be gifted the power that would allow them to have all seven realms and five realities in their control. They could infiltrate time, space, realities, different dimensions, and jump between or bend down through the layers in order to keep the balance between things inhabitable within the world intact. What is the poppy flower? I feel like you're giving me a trivia at this point. It was a very aroma-induced plant that spews out toxic chemicals from the head of it grown from the hive mind to which was used in experiments to spread and lead out corruptions from one place to another during a specific time and place as a sort of location pinpointer. What are Kamala's and corruptions? Kamala's are dark and demonic entities that take the shape of light creatures who have been corrupted by Willie Mofton. Corruptions are people who have been experimented on or created through the power of negative energy under the works of William Afton. It's also a substance created from broken slash negative energy made from when he was pulled into this world. It attaches itself to anything within the air, anything it's touched or surrounded, or is near to which could be anything in the air. To them which <clears throat> goes on to causing a severe amount of panic and havoc. Pretty much the same as a Kamala because they share a similar description. The only difference is that both works in different ways when it comes to the substance part, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying. Okay, that's enough talk from the both of you. Spread out the info, Palantris. Evan is finally going to transform fully. And more corruptions are getting ready to plumate their way through here. But they're on their way here now. And now it's almost time to commence with the prophecy. Everyone, brace yourself. Write what she said. So much is about to happen in such a short amount of time. Nobody will even know what hit them.